the reason why the narcissist is never happy with you. The reason why they are never satisfied with anything you do for them. The reason why they always have something to complain about. The reason why they always demand more from you while never appreciating anything that you have already done. When the narcissist first targeted you, everything seemed to be fine. They didn't demand too much from you. It was like they were trying to do everything to make you comfortable. It was like they were trying to accommodate you. But this is just part of the manipulation. This is what is known as love bombing. They use it to lure you into the relationship by making you think that things are always going to be this way. But really, they're just setting you up to be their caretaker. They're setting you up to be someone who is responsible for them. Because that's what they were looking for when they targeted you. They just disguised it as though they were there to support you. But if you look back at the time you have spent with them, you will always find that they didn't do a fraction of what you did for them. You were always the one who was taking them places. You were paying the bills. You were funding family vacations. You received little or no contributions from them. They just expected and demanded it from you. Although the character they display to you at the beginning is very different. They make you believe that they are about reciprocation. They make you believe that they don't want you to do too much for them. If you offer to help them out with something, they may even refuse your help. Or they will offer to do something for you in return. Because they want to portray this image of them being someone who doesn't need you. They want to make it look like you're the one who needs them. Because that's going to be the reason why they need to remain around you. They're eventually going to make you doubt your qualities and abilities. Even though you may have been fine before you met them. They will gaslight you and tell you that something was wrong and you needed their help. They will make up anything to support their false narrative. But whatever you're seeing from them now, that's who they really are. And that's what they withheld from you in the beginning. Because if you had known that you were dealing with someone who is greedy and self-absorbed, you never would have accommodated them. And they know this. Which is why when they first meet you, they have to act like they don't really need you. At least until they can find a way to trap you. That's when the mask will come off and then they will show you who they really are. 
They will show you why they targeted you in the first place. They will show you what they want from you. When the narcissist targets you, there is always a hidden agenda behind it. They always have a hidden motive. They come to you saying that they just want to help you with something. But as time goes by, it seems that you're doing more and more for them. While they're doing less and less for you. While complaining that you're not doing enough. And at this point, it should become clear that you are their caretaker. They see you as an object that exists to serve them. That is the purpose that they have assigned to you. Which is why whenever you deviate from this and start focusing on yourself, they can't stand it. They demand all of your time, attention and money because they feel entitled to it. When they targeted you, they made the silent agreement in their own minds that you were unaware of. That their presence alone requires some form of payment or exchange from you. And they expect you to adhere to this agreement, which you have no knowledge or awareness of. They expect you to fulfill these obligations that you never agreed to. And that were never explained to you. Which is why they can never be happy with you. Because in their minds, when they met you, you signed up for this. You agreed to satisfy their every whim. You agreed to be at their beck and call. So you should always be ready to obey their orders and commands immediately. You should be completely compliant and obedient to them. You should cater to their every need. That's just how they see it. But naturally, as time goes by, you are going to run yourself into the ground trying to please them. You're going to end up neglecting yourself. You're going to want to spend more time alone. You're going to run out of energy and money. And this is when the problems begin. Because if you're dealing with a narcissist, all they really want from you is your attention and money. They want to use you so that they can feel powerful and in control at your expense, so that they can feel comfortable. But it's never enough. They will take you to the cleaners. They will ruin you. And when it's all said and done, that is when they will leave. They're only going to stick around as long as they can get something out of you. Because that's why they targeted you in the first place. The reason why the narcissist is never happy with you has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. They're not happy with you because they're not happy with themselves. They are emotionally unstable and they lack emotional depth. They cannot regulate their own emotions. Which is why you will often experience these long monologues from the narcissist. They can talk about their own feelings or their own situation for hours at a time without requiring any input from you because they don't care about your feelings or perspectives. They don't care about how you see it. All they care about is themselves. They are self-absorbed and they lack empathy which is how they're able to talk for such a long time about all their problems. Because they have no empathy for you. 
They can't put themselves in your shoes. They can't share your experience to see how that would make you feel. And even if they could, they wouldn't care. They're only concerned with their own feelings and needs. And they use other people to regulate their emotions. But it's never enough. They're like a bucket with a leak at the bottom. Whatever you pour into them will always leak out. It will never be enough for them. They will always feel dissatisfied. While never taking responsibility for their feelings. But they see their feelings as facts. So if they feel dissatisfied, that must mean that you did something or didn't do something to cause them to feel that way. Which means that you must do something to resolve it. You must do something to make them feel better. It's like dealing with a small child that has hurt themselves and now they want you to make it better. They want you to patch up their wounds. But this is a wound that will never be healed. Because they attribute it to you doing something to them. When it's something that they need to resolve themselves. And this is why the problems never end. This is why no matter what you do, they will never be happy with you. Because they are not happy with themselves. And they're not going to take responsibility for their own emotions. They're not going to take the necessary step to heal themselves. Which means that you are always going to be held responsible for their feelings. You are always going to be held responsible for where they are in life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.